Hey everyone, it's been a big day today. Blowy as ever and really hot. So I know I took the roof, the roof off my uh, hothouse here to give these tomatoes a chance to breathe. Now these are the ones that are still in these little jiffy pots and they need to be transplanted. I haven't had a chance to transplant them. I'll show you in a minute what I've been doing today. So these need to go into bigger pots like these ones here. Have a look at this. That's not too bad. This one back here is taken off. Much happier plant that one there, isn't it? This is ready to go in the ground. But I haven't even got the grounds ready because our ground, it was snowing last week. 27 today with a high 50, 50 K winds. I reckon it was about 70 K winds coming through. And seven days earlier, we had snow. <sighs> Then you wonder why plants go backwards. And I'll show you the tomatoes, what happened to them over there. Now these need to be liquid fertilized. If you've got young seedlings like this and you haven't transplanted them, like I haven't, you need to feed them. So I'm just gonna give them a burst of VK, a burst of liquid gold, which by the way, is on a buy one, get one free on our website this weekend. Look at that, drown them. That's okay, let them soak in. Wetting the foliage is good for them too. It's not just the root system that you need to fertilize. You can fertilize the plant. It works three times quicker when you water it over the top. Now I'm doing it late in the evening. Well, it's not really the evening yet. It's only about six o'clock or so. So you're going to watch this in about 11 hours later, this has gone live. So if you're watching it at 7.30, by the way, 3AW. So as soon as this little segment finishes, switch over to 3AW, tune in with me and Darren talking gardening. Give us a call and we'll try to solve, solve all your gardening problems. I'm trying to solve my own at the moment. <laughs> Mine's about being time poor. Now I smell like UK Boost. We'll let that go. Come and have a look at my tomatoes over here. Have a look at this bed. This is, I think two weeks? Yeah, about two weeks old. This is two weeks old, this bed. We've got, we've got endives or chicory, if you want to call it that, spring onions. And these are the tomatoes. Now, same batch of tomatoes, but these were out in the, in the in the snow the day it snowed here come in nice and close come in have a nice nice and close have a look at the damage it's caused have a look at all this look at this already all right now don't be a hero and say to me why did you plant them out so early because who was expecting snow in september in springtime you'd think the last frost had gone even if it gets down to three degrees it's okay for the tomato plants they're hardened off but not snow, and these were completely covered in snow. Yeah, they've grown, this one's gone really backwards. That's frostbite, that's nothing else. It's not a disease, it's not a virus. What I've got to do is basically pinch all these side leaves, leaves off. See that? Take that off. We've got to have a look at this. We've got a new shoot coming up here. Wait, let me get rid of that. That's gone. See that little shoot there? See that one there? I don't need this either. That can go. Get all these off the property. See that shoot there? That's a little new shoot that's coming up. Now, we're going to train two on this imaginary trellis. I haven't put it up yet, but it's going to be concrete mesh. Still early for it. But yeah, I'm hoping this will clean up. Yeah, a little bit of burn on top. This one's a lot better. And how are the other ones? So just clean off all the leaves. You just pinch off the sides like that. And we'll show you how to train it as the plants grow. But for now, we just got to monitor them so they make sure, make sure they don't go backwards. This is the new bed we're setting up. In the middle, I'm putting beans. Yeah, they're not tall enough. This section here, we're gonna put more mesh all the way up there. Stand on the edge here so we can harvest. Train them nice and flat like a wall. Give us a bit of a screen so we can have a bit of protection so whatever we plant there, they'll be a lot better. And we've got under here again, chicory, pak choy, spring onions. There's 20 in each row, three rows, four, five rows. There's a hundred plants here, a hundred plants there. And then the beans are in the middle buried three beans per little section about 15 20 centimeters apart Bellotti beans and I think just a typical snake bean going up there and we haven't finished even filling the soil up look I ran out of soil this is 10 meters long by 1.5 wide and 400 high it's all you need in height and the last but not least folks our bee corner that grass has grown out of control we're going to attack that and we're going to show you that in upcoming episodes with Craig Castry and Clive Larkman, how to look after your bees and create a nice bee corner with lots of flowering plants, herbs and colour so they can enjoy as well. We had a couple of swarms last year and it was one set up here but it didn't work out because of the heat, exhaustion, they died, they collapsed. But it looks like they're coming back or well, there's a couple of scouts out checking out the hive. We had it set up but wasn't ready for it to be a swarm yet, a little bit early but you know. From one day to the other, this weather, that's Mother Nature, Maresi. 
if you're watching this little video just after we finish posting it, tune into 3AW693 AM dial. It's Gardening Me and Darren James. Give us a call with your gardening problem and I'll try and help you solve it. And it is our double deals weekend. The buy one, get one free on a huge range of products, plus a bonus 10% discount on everything else. Tune into 3AW, go to vasilisgarden.com and don't forget the garden show tomorrow, 2 p.m. And I'll remind you in the morning from Eva Silly, Marissi. Thank you.